G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, Microsoft Syntex Content Assembly allows us to have some functionality to dynamically generate and create our repetitive business uh, types of documents. So things like contracts and renewal letters and things like that, uh, that we do over and over again, we can use the content assembly part of Microsoft Syntex to dynamically generate these. So uh, think of this as a modern mail merge or a mail merge on steroids. Now today we're gonna to take a look at a feature or functionality of the content assembly that allows us to conditionally show and hide sections of your modern templates. So based on specific values in your template, then you can show or not show certain sections of that template. So let's jump in and have a look and set things up. So we can see here that I am in just a, a normal SharePoint team site and I the first thing we're going to do is actually create a modern template. So we can see here on the uh, under the new button, I've got the ability here to create modern template. So when we click on create modern template, we're going to be asked to select from a document. We can upload a document or we can use one that we've got stored in our uh, document library. Now, an important thing to note here is that when we're creating this template, it does become disconnected from the originating document. So we can see here that I am going to select this document that's living in the document library here but when I use this it is going to be separate right as separated so this document is going to stay where it is in the document library and then we've got an instance of that as a template so just be careful and be aware of that little nuance there so I'm going to select this document it's going to load that document into our um, content assembly user interface let's say this is where we can create our template the document is loaded and then we need to create some fields or we can link our fields to uh, things like a Microsoft list or to manage metadata or we can just have them as open freeform text. So let's create a few dynamic um, uh, mappings here. So I am going to create a, a new field. So I'll click on field, I'll give this a name and it's going to be vendor name. Now we're gonna use this as a content field here and the, the this uh, text that we highlight is going to be replaced by the value, all right? So I'm going to select this. I'm going to choose um, that and confirm the selection name. So we'll confirm this, we'll click next. And this is where we can choose what type of data we're going to use. We can either um, select the uh, free form entry. So we can enter text or select dates. You can see we've got single, multiple, number, time and date, email and hyperlink or we can select from a list or a library, or we can select from our manage metadata term set or a term. I'm going to choose, um, we're going to get our, our values from a list, all right? So I've got a list on this site that lists out our vendors. So I'm going to select this, and I'm going to choose the title column that we can choose from, all right? So that will give us a drop-down list of every uh, vendor in our list. I'm going to save that, and then we now have got this one field, all right? We can do the same thing for each of these. So I'll just quickly go through, let's add a new field. Um, we'll call this uh, company and we will hit next. We'll do the same thing. We'll select from our list and we'll choose our vendor list again and we'll hit next. This time we're just gonna choose a different column, okay? So we can see here that we've got our, um, our columns that we can choose from and we can then choose um, what we want to select here. So the company name, we actually don't have a company name, so let's just go contact person and we'll hit save and then we'll save this particular field. Now, this um, section here, I want to conditionally show or hide this. Now I've got a another uh, piece of content here that I'm going to add a date field to. So I'm going to choose this as a content field and let's just call this expiration date. Okay, so we'll choose expiration date and this time I'm going to enter in, uh, manually enter a date, all right? So I'll choose date and time. I'm not going to, to include time. We can choose a different date format if we want to, but I'm just gonna leave it as uh, MMDDYYY, all right? And we'll save that. 
So we've now got three um, dynamically generated section or um, items in our template. Now the, the dynamic or the conditional section here that we're going to choose is we're going to use this one. So what I wanna do is only show this section if the expiration date is uh, greater than a certain date, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click on the conditional section. Let's call this urgent reminder. All right, so urgent reminder, let's select our section. So this is the section of the template that we wanna show or hide. We'll confirm this, we'll hit next. Now we can set our conditions. So we can choose a field and I am going to say expiration date. So let's choose the condition now. So if the expiration date is greater um, than a specific date, then I want to show this particular piece of content. So if the expiration date is, let's say it's uh, greater than last week, all right? So just as an example, let's select this. Now you'll also see that we've got the ability to chain these. So we can go add or and or or. So if the expiration date is greater than this, and let's say the vendor name is of something, then we can then chain these together. We're just gonna leave it uh, like this for now, and then we'll come back and we'll add another condition. So we're now gonna hit save, all right? Let's now publish this and take a look at what we're going to see. Let's publish. And now that's gonna be made available under the new menu of our document library. And this conditional uh, section here will only show if it meets that criteria. So I'm gonna click on new and I'm going to click on this uh, reminder contract renewal letter. Again, it's gonna load up into our, um, our, gener our template generator and we're going to be able to select our vendor and also um, substitute this for the name of the person. So let's go vendor name, Microsoft, um, and it's Daniel Anderson there. So we can see that because I've selected a title and I've selected the same list here, it dynamically automatically creates that linkage. So I don't need to select each one. Now let's set the expiration date. Now remembering we've got a condition here, we can't actually see that section in the template until we set a date. So the date was greater than the 16th. So if I select a date, you can see that now this section appears. But if the date was prior to the 16th, that, that section here will then disappear. So you can see it's hidden and it then just doesn't get created as part of that template. So let's now uh, set a date of the 25th, we'll hit next, um, and then you can see that we can review the conditional access uh, sections, and then we'll create this document. So let's just call this, um, uh, we'll give this a name, like so and we'll create that document. That's gonna create the document in that library and it will show that conditional uh, access, uh, conditional section of that template. So we can see there being created, I'll click to open and we'll see that that document has now been generated with the values that we've selected. We can see we've got uh, the company name, the contact name, and then we've got our section that has been successfully shown. Now, what if we need to edit this template? So let's jump back into um, the document library. Now we need to go to edit new menu and then we'll click the three little dots. Let's now edit this template and let's add another condition. So let's only show this section if the date is um, less than a, uh, a specific date and then the vendor name is of a specific value too. So let's have a look at this section here and let's edit this conditional, sec uh, conditional section. So we can see here, if the expiration date is greater than the 16th, we're going to show it, all right? So let's say it is the expiration date is less than uh, less than today, all right? So let's go the 31st and the vendor name is an exact match to Microsoft, all right? So we can see here if it matches and is Microsoft and the date and the expiration date is less than the 31st. Actually, let's go less than the end of the financial year. So let's go for this date here and we'll save it. All right, so now let's publish. 
we can see that we can publish our template now. And now what's going to happen, it will own, it will show if both of those are met because we had the and section, the and operator there. So we'll go new document based on that template. Let's choose Microsoft as the vendor. All right, so up in the vendor name, on the right hand side here, it's loading the form for us. We'll select Microsoft and then we'll just play around with the date here. So the vendor name is Microsoft, automatically pulls through the name. Now the expiration date, let's choose the 24th. You can see that now it actually shows. But if it was greater, so if the expiration date is greater than that date that we had set, then it doesn't show. All right, now what if the expiration date is it matches and but the vendor name is a different vendor. So you can see it's showing now, but if the vendor was somebody else, we say, um, let's clear out these, we'll hit Apple and then we'll see that that actually doesn't show either. So that conditional section is correct and it now matches uh, the criteria that we've set. So let's hit next. Let's now uh, create this and you can see here that this it tells us that it hasn't been included, all right, because of, um, because of the, it doesn't meet that criteria. So let's create this document. And then again, let's just pop this in as Apple reminder and we'll create that document, okay? That's gonna create. And then when we open that document, that section is not going to be there. So we can see there, let's open it up and we'll notice that that section of the template is just not there, all right? So conditional sections uh, are an amazing addition to the Microsoft Syntax Content Assembly, allows us to uh, show and hide and really start to build some dynamically generated uh, templates that based on certain conditions can show and hide different sections of that template. Now currently, you can only create conditional sections around text and complete paragraphs. So uh, things like images and tables and that type of thing are not supported as yet. Uh, and you can't have any um, nested conditions. So to achieve the nested conditions, what you're gonna need to do is create conditional sections around every section and specify all those required conditions uh, that need to be met to uh, show or hide those. So I hope that brings you some value today. Conditional sections, Microsoft Syntax Content Assembly, uh, adds an amazing uh, piece of functionality for you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.